me old man. And welcome back. <laughs> welcome back, everybody. Here we are again. I am on the insurgent side. We're on the map of Al Basra. It's a beautiful map created by Chance, bro. Uh, beautiful remake from PR, which is Project Reality. But I digress. Welcome to Squad Ops. This is a one life event in the game of squad in which we are pitting the insurgents against the US now normally these events would take place inside the city this beautiful city but we're not taking that route we're giving the US some defense points outside of the city on the northern edge of the map north northwest along the river and the insurgents have to go destroy their fobs they have four different locations They have to defend them. They get four squads, so they're probably going to spread out pretty evenly. They get some Humvees. They get a couple of Lodgy dumps. They get transport trucks. Everything to help them defend. And the insurgents get all these vehicles. They get every vehicle they can find. They get vehicle scrounge, which is two, four, six, eight vehicles right here. Not to mention they're going to be picking up motorbikes. They're going to be strapping IEDs to them. They're going to be going crazy. A lot of vehicle-mounted IEDs. Now they got a merry-go-round going on in the fountain. And they're going to be attacking. This is... <laughs> uh, let's go Any anything quick here. The They both start at main. The U.S. get to place four fobs in selected locations, which are here in Bravo 5, here in Delta 5, here in Delta 4, and here in Foxtrot 3. So in the round one, we saw the insurgents move in and take out the Delta 4 FOB, and then they attacked the Foxtrot 3 FOB, and that is where they met their demise, and the game ultimately ended. So we'll see what the insurgents plan to do this round. It's so far from our limited play, this has been definitely catered to the U.S. U.S. have won all three. They are three for three in these rounds. But... The insurgents have are getting better and better chances. So we'll see what goes on. Obviously, they're not ready to brief yet, the insurgents, because they're dinking around having a fountain party. I don't know if they get throwing their coins into the well. Who knows? Uh, during round one, though, of this event of Operation Stampede, and it's called Operation Stampede for a reason, because that's basically how... <laughs> It's basically how they have to take these fobs. They can't they can't go in all gingerly slow and careful because the US will bring their Humvees. And the Humvees are what did work last game for the US. I know Odessa alone had a squad's wipe by herself. She had like nine kills. We should probably be saying all this on and, the squad since two. Uh, and that's out of the back of one Humvee gunner. I know another gunner, I uh, can't remember who Turner. Turner had like eight kills in his. So they were both just putting in work. So we'll see how the Humvees are utilized this time by Karma Cut, who is the leader of the U.S., uh, the commander. He's got himself four squad leaders tonight. Their names are Shadowed Ritual, CMYK Matter, Xbit, and Hutch. All uh, all his original squad leaders from round one. Same thing for the insurgents, who are led by Kirkley. This is great. They got the human centipede thing going around the well. I'm going to let you guys watch this because I bet you're entertained. But I'll go over the squad leaders for Kirkley. He's got Google Trex, Ben Bot, Truth Realm, and Satan. So a lot of good uh, and, and actually lots of great squad leaders and commanders in this whole lineup tonight. Uh, as for cameras, everyone's first person view you're going to see besides mine flying around, you'll actually get some on the ground footage. I'm going to go over them quick this time because I don't know how long we've got. Ah, what the heck. Yeah, we'll do it quick. Google Trex, CMYK Matter, Truth Realm, Xbit, Shadowed Ritual, Hyper Evo, Bedbot 16, and Pucha. Now, I'm not Still, the insurgents aren't briefing. I'm going to come back a little early. 
I don't know what the U.S.'s plan is. Are the U.S. briefing pen? I'm getting whispers in my ear. The U.S. are briefing. We're going to send it over there. Perhaps we can catch what their plan is. Or the entire team, because you'll get QRF and mortars appropriately. Um, I don't want to have to relocate three QRFs over to you if you're getting hit by one squad. So I need a, that strength assessment ASAP. Um, other than that, we're pretty much just holding each squad on their own point. Mortars from squads two and three will go outbound, uh, call it out for the uh, fire missions, and then uh, QRFs with the Humvees from any of the squads, uh, one, two, or three, will go out, go. redirect as necessary. Are there any questions? Negative. Yeah. I don't yeah. feel comfortable you pointing your weapon at me. <laughs> oh. <laughs> that is, all right. oh. Oh, snap. Real loud. All right. That's not the best, huh? All right. It's it's not okay, guys. Right Let's go. Go ahead and break them out. So, I want my uh, Bravo fire uh, team. Alpha really wants to be QRF. Alpha really does want to be QRF. Alpha wants to be QRF? I've been to the fire team with Alpha, yes. you're going to be QRF. You're going to be in this Humvee right here. Mount up. Oh, can I play on the 50? All right, Chelsea Bot. We're going to go over to Google Tricks and just see what he sees. Give you a little first-hand action. Make sure he's not looking at any butts over there. And hopefully allow three and four to slip in there undetected. That makes sense. Copy that. So just to clear up. It's great to see viewers like that coming to watch people because they they know them. They want to see what they do. What are you playing, honey? What are you watching? What are you doing? So we'll make sure to get you a little, little first-hand Google Trex action. We can go to Google Cam. And he is a squad leader. He is one of Kirkley's squad leaders. His squad name is, in fact, Google it. Oh, look at that. Pretty much everybody's got their same squad names. I love these squad names. Let's go over them, just because they're good. We've got Google Trex named his squad Google it. Ben Bot named it Lima Alpha Tango, which is Lat. Uh, Truth Realm named his Bing Any. It was just Bing before. And then, of course, Satan named his squad the Devil's Guard. Now, Hutch has Hutch's Hunters. Xbit has Extra Bits. That's just clever. C CMYK Matter has got the Matter Gear Material Girls. I like how he puts Matter in there instead of Material. And then Shadowed Ritual, whose squad name was the Empire before, is now the Empire Strikes Back. So he's giving a round two. Here we go. And now the insurgents are going to brief. So we're going to cut you over to, I don't know, whoever. We'll go to Google Cam. Google's right there. We'll go to Google Cam. See what he sees. Uh, so moving on, we're going to pretty much do the exact... Uh, we got a few stragglers out there. Pull those guys over. Uh, uh, probably we've got... You. Okay, we've Let's got a couple go moving in, so... Once they get here. It's taking a bath, I don't know what it's doing. Okay. Alright, so this is what the plan is okay. Unlike the Mystical Karma Cut, we are going to be using no VBIDs. All so of our vehicles are going to be used for their designated purposes, uh, whether it be transport or uh, supporting fire. Uh, squads 1 and 2 uh, will be in charge of pretty much driving and gunning all of the vehicles. So they'll mount up driver gunner, and then all of their infantry will mount as well. Squad 3 and 4 will mount into whatever vehicles that they can. Uh, the whole platoon will be making their way to... That mortar mark right there, uh, that's going to be our staging point. Once our platoon is there, we're going to separate into two different groups. Uh, group number one is going to be composed of squads one and two. Uh, they'll be using their vehicles to provide supportive fire, and they'll be moving north, and they'll be engaging the compound located on that machine gun marker. Uh, so you guys are going to be making a lot of noise, moving up quickly with your infantry while underneath the cover of that uh, those heavy weapons. While this is happening, squads 3 and 4 will be dismounted completely, and they will start moving west through village, and they're going to be trying to get to the bridge marked by that sniper. Uh, once they get to that bridge, they're going to be crossing and then moving north and assaulting that machine gun marked compound. 
Uh, so as much as possible, three and four are going to remain stealthy. Uh, they're going to try and get in there as close as possible, uh, while one and two are making a lot of noise off to the east there. So, you know, it's a two-pronged attack. If we do manage to take out both of those objectives, then we're all just going to fall back to village. You know, it's nice and close. Uh, and we're just going to hold there, wait for the U.S. to come to us. That sounds good? Yep. Great. Let's yes, do it. Sir. Sounds great. Let's do this. All right, squad leads, go ahead and break them out. Uh, one and two, get, let's get your driver gun. Space we have left. Um, quickly, I have a question. Yes, you. Um, what happened if like most of the guys are dead? All right, so we heard the Kirkley go. They're gonna be heading over towards Village, pushing in from the uh, attacking the the Delta Five and the Bravo Five. Okay. <laughs> Fobs, which is a little bit different. So we'll see. We will see. Google AFK. No. So we'll see what goes on here. I still hear a little bit of local chat going on. That's okay. Let's see if they've called ready yet. No, not too much. I'll fly. I'm just gonna run north and grab a motorbike. I'm just gonna run around picking up people that don't have. It's... Just get scared straight. I mean, two, four, six, seven, or eight. Two, four, six, eight. What if they just all piled into those rigs and just freaking bolted? What if they just room right towards one one fob? All eight vehicles. They've only got three Humvees. So, I mean, theoretically, you could get a good five or six of them in there, maybe. I don't know. I have a question. Right now, right now, I'm at the gunner. Now, what should I do in case I'm getting... Oh, it's okay, Sham. It's should it's I okay, like Sham. Yeah, I'm not getting... The there's no level 3 backpacks in uh, squad. This isn't right. PUBG. Yeah, where yeah, if you ask for it, it just appears just in front of you. Spin around you can find them. Yeah, that's what I wanted to say. <laughs> it's funny, though. Now, it's funny. What, what would be much I got lucky. I just made lucky calls. That's all it was. There's no skill. I would just wait till the shots are gone. This isn't PUBG anyway. This is squad. Yeah, yeah fire back giveaway. Yep, stick around. Giveaway. Squad giveaway. Coming tonight. The guy who won last week said, I already got squad. You know what? He said, let me give it back. It was Nasty Nate. He won it, and he said, I've already got it. Let someone else win it next week. Let's give it away again. And so anyone who talks in this chat right now is entered. See, so you're already entered. Let me see what we got here. There are 17 whole people entered right now. 17 of you. Wow. That is awesome. Guys, guys, cut the music, whoever's doing that. So far, we've got a bunch of insurgents loaded up, and they're going to take every vehicle there is. Every single one. Waiting for the insurgents to call live. Let's just see what we got here. If you can, dump the RD. I want to ask if they're ready, but I don't want to rush them. It should be about go time. Yep, so yeah, you'll be hitting the Delta 5 Q1. There we go. Yep, let's see it. Let's see it. Alright, three found up in the logies and ready to go. Let's see the rush, here we go. Perfect, you guys all fit in one logic? Dude, that's awesome. Alright, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and call set and we'll get a lot time. Oh, I'm just going to follow this convoy. As soon as we go live, I'm just going to follow them right out of the... Right out. Look at these poor three guys. They're just sitting there. Oh, man. Oh, that's Command. Quickly, Heartbreaker, and Miami-Dade SWAT. They're just going to hang back, I guess. Live at 142. We're live in one minute, people. We're going live. We're doing it live. I guess that means the uh, U.S. got on their job. I hope they remember to gas up all these techies. That's a lot of vehicles. I guess the Lodgies have some backup gas in the bed of the trucks if need be. I'm just kidding. You can't really run out of gas in this game. They haven't implemented that. But... But you sure can... They sure can uh, sink in the water. 
Yeah, 142 live. They can't go through this water. This water will just fuck up their vehicles. It will. It'll screw them up. It'll kill them. Uh, a lot of infantry can't go through it, too. They can only go through the shallow areas. Oh, we're live. Here we go. Live, live, live. The convoy's going. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Blue, blue, red, red, yellow, red, red, yellow. You look great on the stream. Oh, yeah. I am totally following. We're on Google Cam. They're running into each other up there. More spacing, more spacing, more spacing. I'm just gonna stay up in the front. Let's just see what happens here. This is squad two up in the front. This is Ben Bot's squad. They've got the already techie. They have swiftly been passed. SPG's going in hard. Looks like they're kind of spreading out a little bit. The whole convoy's coming in though. That SPG techie's out of control. They did a quick fishtail. They've just had to slow down a little, you know, wait for everybody. It was a uh, braking technique that they utilized called fish tailing. Holy cow, they beat them. Nope, they're not there. I'm so wrong. Where are they going? What are they doing? Sorry, come in. We're letting hitting the brakes. Fall in before we took contact and we didn't have enough room in the vehicle. One's going back for them. Don't know what they're doing here. Uh, Direct, mortar, uh, not a gun. And as far as I can tell, the Direct. U.S. are going to get in position uh, and build one, some mortars. Two, two when you're up. I appreciate you don't put your cross Digging up them mortars. <laughs> so they're going to be ready as soon as the uh, as soon as the mortars get up, they're going to be looking, getting ready to fire. Mic gunner disconnected. And you know what? As the U.S., you have no idea where the insurgents are going to come from. They got this whole southern side of the map that they can push across and, and work with. You know, even if, if they want to, they can even cross to the east here and put the Humvees up here and fire down on this compound. Uh, in Foxtrot 3, in that compound. You could position Humvees over on the east side of the river. But they have chosen to go down to the southwest, so we're, we're going to see. We'll see what happens. Not much else you can do. Plenty of U.S. forces to the north. Plenty of insurgents down here on the south. 50 cal up here. Need a shovel on it. Uh, just vehicles right, parked going out. everywhere. How are we running? All ready to rock and roll. That's it. Is there a mortar fire going on? Where are the mortars firing? Apparently they're shooting to the southeast from somewhere. I don't even know where Hyper's at, though. Okay, that hit way east. Looks like they're they're shooting at refinery. They don't want to take shots from the arty techie at refinery, so they're shooting there. I've got eyes on that. Just dropping rounds in the And there and there goes the arty. Already techies firing, he's a little to the east, a little too far east. And a little too deep. But they're going, they're laying down fire. Let's see what happens here. You know what, if they go tearing in there, they got a good chance. There's not a whole lot of US forces there. One of those already might hit. Also, nope, too far. A little bit too far. There goes a couple more. And still a little bit long. Scratch that. Two o eight. All right, we're getting a fire mission called for the mortars. Drop one. Xpit's calling for it. Okay, one insurgent is down. Demind forty one got taken out. But it's not, not to be. Roger, we'll start pushing. All suaded. The insurgents are still pushing in. Krusty the sailor, in true fashion, is lighting up the entire compound by himself, 
standing up there, and he's dead. My disc is down, my disc, my he's alive! He got out in time. Good job, Krusty. God dang. Good awareness. You guys ready? <laughs> I was sure he was dead. One, two, keep moving. Uh, you can't get pinned down in one spot. Those mortars are going to drop on you. Yeah, we're going to go. Live on Google. Move, move, move. Vehicles, I need some fire support. I need fire support. Now, I'm noticing that the insurgents are pushing in. They're they're surrounding them with dishkas. They're pushing in a lot. But I'm not seeing a lot of reaction by the U.S. besides the Humvees. The Humvees are just kicking ass. Oh, look, there they are. They're pulling up, taking their time. They're just taking their sweet time. Mortars are coming in. Close, close, but they moved. The insurgents kept... Oh, never mind. The cypher goes down, takes a mortar. Oh, right in the butt, too. He almost got past it. Great mortar. Update on Humvee is on Charlie 5. He pad 4. And those dishkas, those dishkas firing is helping a lot. It's, it's just, it's, it's suppression. It's keeping, oh, Karma Cut goes down. That was the dishka taking him out. Great job. Could have been even bullet penetration. I'm not sure. But that right there was, I cannot see. It was Red Player. Red Player shredding. Google Tracks leading the way in. There they go. Squad's heading in. He's got CMYK Matter and, uh, TLFT XF coming in on him. Here comes the Humvee. Oh, tear gun gets run over. Humvee freaking plows him. It hits the techie. Oh God, it's shooting the techie now. Benbot 16 doesn't know what to do with himself. He just gets out and hides beside the techie. Tear gun gets back up. He ducked under the Humvee somehow. The reflexes of a cat and the speed of a mongoose. He just dived right underneath that that Humvee somehow is alive. Benbot is still alive by the techie. He's just taking cover. He knows he's surrounded now. He's so afraid of that Humvee. I would be too. It just freaking rammed him and almost took him out. Oh, Google Trucks goes down. He bleeds out. He got shot and he bled out. That was XF probably credited with the kill. I'm not sure. Tear gun. Tear gun's got a grenade out. He lobs it over the top. Is he going to get vengeance? He is. Here it comes. Boom. Down goes XF. Oh, beautiful grenade. That was a beautiful grenade. Getting vengeance on his buddy Google Trex. Tear gun's moving in. Tear gun gets taken out from, I think, no idea. There goes a techie. Hell is breaking loose. Ben Bot's down now. There's someone from the west. Must have been that techie from the west that got tear gun. So much noise. Still a lot of noise. A lot of gunfire. Oh, man. That techie's getting taken out, though. Taking heavy fire. Rev got hit. It's going to go down soon. They've given up on the techie. There's bullet holes through it. It's on fire. The Humvee's reloading. It's about to get taken out. And they backed up. They actually backed up. Didn't finish the job. In the meantime, squads three and four are on the far west pushing the other two. Bobs. Wow, wow. Okay, kills wise, 10 for the US, 3 for the insurgents. Good job by the US. They've taken out a couple of vehicles as well. Can I get a frag round? originally. 50 frag. Crusty the sailor calling him out north of him. Oh yeah, they uh, they took some casualties over there. The insurgents did, but in the meantime, their southwestern unit has been in good shape. Looks like they're in functioning matter. All right, it's double time. Come on, squad one. That's crusty. Yeah, he's they're in trouble down there. They're taking the mortars. They can't move, so the mortars are honing in on them. But in the meantime, the southwestern unit putting in work, putting in the effort. They've got a Humvee they're about to walk up on. That's Zabari and Agalok.
There's there's Chappie. Chappie's got a RPG right there looking at him. I know, I can't see He's looking for the shot. Oh, Chappie just got hit in the arm. It's flanking. Oh gosh, there's a couple guys down in this now. Swinging around to flank them from behind. Farther west, there's like a hill you have to be able to cross. Wait, let me let me put a tip in, and then I'll make. This is a rough field. It's wide open. They've got a Humvee to their north, to the northeast as their destination, or at least their target objective. An update on numbers left with 15 kills for the U.S. to three for the insurgents. So numbers-wise, the insurgents are getting raped, for lack of a better word. And that seems to be the theme for this event. The insurgents have got to coordinate, got to, got to work together really well, or they're going to struggle and not win. And you know, maybe the U.S. are just too well armed. You know, we could further, it, it would be further tweaking of this event. This is the first day. This isn't the first time we've run it, but this is the first day that the, the event's going on. And anybody who's watching, uh, if you want a copy of the game squad, just uh, type in chat, you know, say Muffs of God or Pen is Jesus or something, and you'll get entered. Grapes are delicious. That works too. And that'll get you entered. You only have to type once right now, and you'll be entered as long as you're here at the end of the at the end of this round. When I give it away, when I select the winner, then you're in for it. You and three are still moving north. You're gonna try and hit that uh, location. The Bravo Five. Zabari and Agalock holding it. Oh, my dog's got a squeaky toy. <laughs> it's Ellie. <laughs> now she hates me. You're all welcome. More mortars being fired. Yeah. I don't know where they're gonna hit. They might be coming down towards Krusty's or what's left of Krusty's squad. Ram me mission direction two three five. And they sure did. Command did do too much. Here. Just keep harassing him. Crusty's going to continue to harass. <laughs> See, this is where it's kind of rough. And I don't know, this is this was Kirkley's first time commanding as insurgents. So I think he wasn't quite sure how rough it was going to be. I keep trying to build stuff so I keep shooting at him. Is that a bumper sticker? Because it should be. That's funny. We're going to keep following this little group right here. There's five of them real close together. I don't know who's running the show at all. It's Gangrel. Gangrel's running the show. And he's pulling out the smokes. You know, when you play a game like this and you get thrown into some sort of leadership position, there's really... It's really, you know, sink or swim. You're gonna, you're gonna say, I don't want this. Oh no, uh, I'm not ready for this. Or you're gonna just take it and go and do the best you can. Which is great to see during these squad operations. There's nobody, nobody backs down. They get that, you know, they get that onus put upon them and they take it. And they, they, they use it, and they, and they do the best they can to win, whether they know what they're doing or not. They try. Just like this, Gangrel's pushing in from the south. He's saying throw smokes. You know what? It's hard as hell. They're rough. It's rough anywhere they go in. So they might as well do it. We got some frags going out. Oh, oh, oh. Fig got so lucky that Humvee hit a tree. He was running. I saw the Humvee hit like that palm tree or whatever it is there. Where the hell those trees are. Let's 
check the kills. 22 to 3. So the U.S. are just kicking the shit out of the insurgents. That's basically been the theme, though. Time. Yeah, just yeah, copy. Location. Yeah, they're they're tr they're trying to push across this river. They can't get anywhere near us. That means y'all are keeping them off on that. Uh... The insurgents are slowing it down. They know they got to play it slow to have a chance. They're already in a little bit of trouble. For the most part, their eastern forces have been wiped out, with the exception of it looks like command. Is that command? It is. It is. It's command. His little unit. Nope, command's dead too. Okay, they just got, they're getting wiped out down there. There's only two guys left over there. I don't know who it is. I'll zoom in real quick. My Ami Dade SWAT and Heartbreaker. So they've been with Kirkley the whole time. They've been in his squad. Those poor guys are all by themselves now. Oh, it's Krusty. Krusty is by himself down here as well. Krusty is squad leader uh, one now. That's Google Trex's former squad. Uh, Krusty, I think, is the last guy left in it, actually. And then maybe Rev, if Rev is up, I don't know. Krusty's got the SKS. He's taking some snaps with the SKS. He might have just hit Hyper Evo. I think he just freaking hit Hyper Evo with the shot. Jesus. <laughs> Didn't kill him, but Hyper Evo's bandages. Yeah, yeah, we got contacts to our southeast. If we can shift that uh, other Humvee to the southeast, we're gonna do that. Don't uh, don't peek that ridge. My other Humvee's gonna stay uh, to the south, or stay on the uh, west. Oh, that western Humvee, they're still raining down. Holy cow, Zako Fig and oh, never mind. It's fucked. We did have Pure you know, Paradise going in, but he had to stay. Oh, they shit. fired a rocket. They okay. They got eyes on it. Oh shit! I just missed that. Jay LeChapelle goes down. Zako gets him through the window. Good job by Zako. Jay LeChapelle kicked ass in the first round. He had like I don't know multiple kills. Oh, Space Monkey goes down. Zako doing a good work in here. Zako and Fig working together really well. All right, so Firebat says his, his curiosity is spiked by Muff talking the SL leadership roles and how the intensity of the game. Yeah, all right. Um, it's it's crazy. Yeah, we're over a year old, and I mean, you when you when you get a leadership role in this, people look up to you. They look up to you for answers or for orders for where to go for advice. Should we do this? Here's where the enemy is. What should I do? How should I proceed? And it's up to you to make that call. Whether it's the right one or not, they're going to, most of the time, your squad is going to have that trust in you to follow your orders and and execute to the best of their ability what you're asking them to do. And it, it it's beautiful. It's beautiful watching not only people try and fail, but when they, when they try and succeed as well. It's really cool. Oh. Gangrel goes down. The insurgents taking heavy casualties. They're they're down twenty five to six really right now. Like 100%. I'm trying to look for more. There's a good another chunk of insurgents down here. Magellan Odessa, Big Jimmy HD still kicking it. You know what it looks like though. It just looks like the insurgents are a little too far spread out to to organize an actual attack where it's going to distract uh, different angles where they to the point where they can move in or use smokes to push their advancement. And here come the mortars. Pretty close. A little bit south, but pretty close. Yeah, there's every now and then there's a US guy going down. 
insurgents are still in it. That's correct, one tap man. There are uh, four fobs and three Humvees. The, the Humvee count is directly related to the number of fobs. If there was only three fobs, there would only be two Humvees. So it's the fob count minus one. Depending on the number of players, if there was only three squads, then there would only be three fobs. I'm popping shots every time they poke their heads above the sandbags. Oh yeah, you can bet your money, fill in the blank, that there'll be tweaks made to this op. This is the first time this op has been ran, by the way. So if there, normally there's tests and we'll test out operations and stuff to to test, to check the balance and stuff. We that didn't happen with this one. It got thrown into the fray. Uh, just south of our position. And you know what? Yeah, it's still entertaining, even if it's heavily US sighted. You know, it'll get tweaked after this. It's great to see this in, in real play. Yeah, Google win it. Google's gonna win it. He is dead, and his team is getting their ass kicked. But Google's gonna win it. Those mortars are still piling in, but Krusty's still alive. Krusty's working it. It's one do you think he moved me? They're pushing guys Let's out see, on me 27 now. to 6. <coughs> Excuse right, me. We'll try to support the, you. I mean, it's only two of us, but we'll try our hardest. The U.S. have definitely uh, got a little okay, bit of an I'm advantage going on right here. And I'm noticing right here, Zabari's got nine kills. He's the gunner of a Humvee. Those Humvees are just vital to the U.S. They are so vital. You know, we might see a change in strategy for other, for the insurgents after seeing how hard these Humvees are winning. They may just start to target the Humvees first and take them out. So that could be a few drops. Definitely not enough strength. Let's see if Krusty can get these guys. Akai Panda, Dreadful, somebody, Bruce Inger. Come on, Krusty, get him. Oh, Krusty goes down. Dreadful Decay, Akai Panda. Oh, Krusty gets him. <laughs> Krusty got one with his nade. Whoever that was. Oh, I just read their name, too. Well, Krusty went down, but he took one with him. I'm pushing in my URF right now. Hold on. All right. I'll stand by a mortar. I'm looking at Hyper. There's nothing east. There's very few insurgents oh, left in there. Actually... They're entirely uh, located in the southwest side. 15, 17 again. Actually, uh, let me let me comment on this uh, because someone's asking about being able to put five squads on insurgent side compared to the three on the U.S. Yes, you can totally do that. We can set up the servers to do that. We can set up the rules so that the teams aren't auto balanced and stuff like that. And that is initially how we built most of the operations during our testing phases back in the day we would have the insurgents severely outnumber the U.S. or vice versa, depending on the operation that was ran. And what it came down to was keeping it simple. We want, it, we want to keep it as simple as possible for people so there's not too many rules. We don't want to make you read an encyclopedia before you can, I don't know if I got them. Before you, can uh, you know, partake in the operations. They were the last two alive. Let's so <laughs> the, we try to keep the teams Sorry, even. You know, whether it's balanced or not, you know, sometimes they're not. It's not going to be a balanced game. One team's going to have to work a little harder if they want to win, which makes it fun. Wait, it makes it a uh, different dynamic. It makes it uh, like it makes you strive to change it up, to try something new, to make that win, to see what's going to win it for you. So it's really cool. And. 
and, and as far as it goes with sorry I'm trying to get in here see how many Humvees are left see where they're looking we're down to Big Jimmy it's like we got Big Jimmy and Odessa is that it? <laughs> for the insurgents? that's it that's all I see is 29 to 8 Does anybody else see any other insurgents on my screen or anywhere? Krusty, you did awesome, dude. That was great. You killed a guy with your grenade at the end, too. You pulled out their grenade and you went to throw it and they killed you? Well, one of them died because of it, because they were too close. The grenade still went off. That was really cool. Anyway, to update, the U.S. have thoroughly dominated this round, as well as every round prior to this. We've got Odessa and Big Jimmy. Looks like Big Jimmy's going to try to fire up this tractor, see if he can't go mow down some buildings with it. I don't think he's got the keys and spark plugs are burnt out in it. All right, Odessa called 30 North. She actually got one. She dropped one up there. She fucking got one. That's funny. With auto. I heard the auto fire. Brrr, she got one. That guy's pissed, whoever that was. Rough death. She's still shooting while Big Jimmy's pushing. So, see that? That's bounding. That is a perfect example of bounding with just two people. Odessa is providing the cover fire and the suppression while Big Jimmy advances. Now, he's throwing a grenade in there. Uh, Almost in there. Uh, what, Just close. He says he's sorry. It wasn't bad. It's not like he screwed up. He just didn't quite get the nade in there. Let's see here. Is she going to come? Yep, she's pushing. So is Big Jimmy. Hey, you did get him. Good job. Hey, come here, come here, come here. Let's appreciate it. We might hear some mortars go off now. It sounds like there's going to be some mortar fire coming in from Hyper Evo where they think they're at, but it could be close. Always record, Krusty. That's the rule. Always be recording. Oh my god, Odessa called it. Someone's in there. Oh, she got him! Right in the dome! Fucked him up! Oh, he hit her too! Odessa's bleeding out. She's well, Big Jimmy just chasing Piper, there's him. There's a far off. left. There's a far left. He's the last two, so it's Odessa and Big Jimmy. Odessa's been hit, so she's not far from death. Definitely have to. Firm, where from? Big Jimmy's no, no. good to go. Dude, He's got the a, uh, the AR, so yeah, tons of firepower his way, at least for suppression. In the Jeez, meantime, the there's not much else that's going on. They gotta they gotta move. They gotta take out another bob or two. We'll see what happens. Copy. I see infantry moving north off that. I'm just having I'm just having trouble figuring out where that is on the map. Hey, firm. advised i'm down to uh fire team size element i'll copy uh straight dog the way we do first person streamers um you, you got to be a become a regular so i i definitely recognize your name and the way that you become a regular is just by playing around play with us stick stick around we recognize you we'll invite you into a channel we'll say hey man we see you've been around for a while and you've shown your interest in what Squad Ops has, we'd like you to have a bigger part in the community and become a regular. That's when everyone gets the Ops tag and stuff like that. And that's who gets to be the cameras. It's, it's, I mean, for all we know, you could get random people streaming, and then next thing you know, they could cut to, like, freaking, you know, 70s porn music and 
watch someone eat an ice cream or who knows what. So we, we want people that at least we know a little bit and trust to stream for us. Just just for the integrity of it. Yeah. But stick around, man. I recognize your name for sure. Sorry, I'm not on your team. It's my bad. I'm in here. Container. Do you see that container? Looks like a brown container. A firm. Seen direct west. On the left. Oh, 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 big Jimmy. <laughs> he's. Got a contact. He's running away. He's, he's glad that the Humvee's not doing so good. Odessa's providing a little bit of suppression for him. Cover fire. Yeah. They're the only two, so. Two thirty-two. Still they are doing actually a good head. job of working together. Well, yeah, it is random. It is random. You never know what some random person could do. They could pull up some random stuff. Yeah, that Humvee's got it. He was right there. You know what? There's a lot worse things I could be doing in my time off. I'll yeah, tell you that. <laughs> right Conserve ammo. Don't put everything on oh. it. And then there was one. Red is possible. Red smoke is possible. We are down to Krusty the Sailor, last man standing. It was Odessa that died. Big Jimmy HD is the last one left. And he's dead. That's game. Round two is over. We're going to see GG's in the chat. Up and down. There it is. Good game round two. We got to give away a squad game though here. So everyone stick around. I got to say all my thank yous and stuff real quick. So let's get through that. Thank you to the commanders, Kirkley and Karma Cut. Someone's got to take up, step the lead, or step up and take the lead. Heard them sheep. You know, you know how it goes. Everyone's been squad leader here at least once. Well, most of us have. So it's work, especially being a command, you know, control of four squads, not just one. Thanks to the squad leaders. Google Trex, Ben Bot, Truth Realm, Satan, Shadow Ritual, CMYK Matter, x and Hutch. They put up with almost as much as the command, maybe more sometimes. Thanks to our cameras. These guys are the ones that give you the view that make it make it cool and entertaining so you just don't have to listen to my voice. You're actually going to see cool things happen besides me talk, which isn't that cool anyway. Uh, the cameras, though, are Google Trex, CMYK Matter, Truth Realm, x Shadow Ritual, Hyper Evo, Ben Bot 16, and Pugachev. Thank you. Thank you to those guys so much.